the I Am Rappaport Stereo, Stereo Podcast, Podcast. Live. 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 You're down with Rappaport? Yes, I am. 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 You're yes, I am. You better tune in, I am Rappaport.com. Cause every single podcast, you know he drops bombs. I seen him on set, a seasoned vet with true talent. Catch him on his way to CrossFit, rocking the new balance. He asked me to do the track, cause he know I rhyme elite. But I'm just waiting for the Robert De Niro line of the week. Breakfast of champions, toasted bagel, cream cheese, and locks. This is I am Rappaport, the show never stops. We might catch him out in public, stretching his knees. But if you don't listen to the show, yo, wiggle, please. Wiggle, please. I am Rappaport Podcast. All right. See, I'm Rappaport Stereo Podcast. <clears throat> Coming live and direct from the gloom tomb of Los Angeles, California. And uh, my name is Michael Rappaport. Some people call me the uh, Gringo Mandingo. Um, some people call me the White Arsenio Hall. Um, white folks. White Mike. Um, but feel free to call me Mike, Michael. Whatever floats your boat, and this is the I Am Rapport Stereo Podcast. Um, we're gonna do. A, we're gonna break things up today. A lot of shit to talk about. NFL draft, NBA playoffs. Somehow or another, uh, Donald Trump and Caitlyn Jenner are in cahoots with each other. I, I, I don't think that I'm not aware of the fact that they get brought up on 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 this. This here stereo podcast because I I I, I try not to but it, 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 they just somehow or another they Caitlyn Jenner went into the Trump hotel to take a piss or something the other day and it's just it's just I I I have to I have to acknowledge that I have to talk about that and uh, we're gonna do it like this it's gonna be me solo right here then I'm gonna uh, bring in my young shooter. Dean Collins, who was with me in New York for the Tribeca Film Festival um, for the world premiere of the documentary that I had the pleasure of directing, which is now on Red Bull TV. You could download the app for free. You could watch the movie for free. I had the pleasure of directing a documentary about Juliette Lewis, the actress, and her music career. And that might be like a cliche, but there's nothing cliche about her or her music or when she performs. She tears shit up. I would love to hear what people are thinking about the movie. It's called Hard Loving Woman. It's for free on Red Bull TV, which you could download on any app. But wherever you listen to it, however you listen to it, turn up the volume and uh, be strapped in because she's a motherfucker on stage. So I can't wait to hear uh, some more feedback um, on Hard Loving Woman. And uh, my man Dean Collins is going to get on here. Then we're going to call G. Moody. And who else knows what's going to happen? I mean, it, it, the podcast is, is young. The podcast is early. Um, and we're going to get into it after you hear this funky beat. The I Am Rappaport Stereo Podcast is sponsored by Mac Weldon. Mack Weldon Clothes, it's a clothing company based out of New York City. It lives and breathes New York. They make the best underwear, t-shirts, socks at Mack Weldon, and even soft-ass sweatpants and sweatshirts. They're comfortable and wash and dry great and don't lose shape or integrity. Comfortable, soft, and light materials and fabrics. You can shop online or on your mobile device and check out in less than a minute. Mack Weldon, M-A-C-K-W-E-L-D-O-N, wants you to be comfortable and look good. Women, if you're listening, you want to get your men something good, it's underwear, crusty, shit-stained, go to MacWeldon.com. It's perfect for the guy on the run or perfect for the guy going for a run. Use the promo code Rappaport, R-A-P-A-P-O-R-T, for 20% off your order at MacWeldon.com, M-A-C-K-W-E-L-D-O-N. Underwear, socks, t-shirts, sweatshirts, trust me. I love this shit. I'm wearing some soft ass sweatshirts right now from Mack Weldon. MacWeldon.com. Can't be beat. All right. So, <clears throat> some of you are new to the Iron Rapport Stereo Pockets. I got. I got to just say this before we get into it. Again, the listeners and the downloads and the and and the listenership. It's not viewership because you can't see us, but I, I guess you imagine what's going on here. It's literally going up every fucking week. So I, 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 
I, I have to say how honored and, and excited and, and it, it means so much to me that we're finding out the I Am Rapport Stereo Podcast, the only podcast that prides itself on not fact-checking anything. We don't fact-check shit. We're growing and growing and growing every single week. So I, I want to let you know I appreciate that. Um, the support, the tweets, the Instagrams, the Facebooks, the Facebook mentions, all of it. We see it all. We appreciate it all. And, and I, I just can't tell you how much the reviews, the rapper pack, the, we, got, we got representatives all over the world. It's growing and growing each week. I feel like the rap pack has, has mended some of its inner turmoil. So I just want to let you know how, how, how much it means to me that the, the podcast keeps growing. And uh, about to call my man G Monetti, a.k.a. the Blackhead McMahon. Um, I am the White Arsenio Hall. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a rock with G Monetti. We're going over all kind of shit, the NFL draft, everything. And, and then I'm going to uh, uh, get my man Dean, Dean Collins. They call him the, the Young Shooter. Uh, he was on suspension, but we uh, lifted the suspension, and um, we're getting into it right now. Yo, let's get this poppin'. Let's just jump into this shit. Yo, the, the NFL draft was 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 last night, and I gotta tell you, man, I, I, where do we start with this Ezekiel Ezekiel Elliott dude? He's he came to the draft um, wearing, I think it was the Michael Sam collection. He oh, he, he he was he had his his midriff showing. He had a button down shirt folded up. Now I don't know what the maybe we're just totally out of touch. Um. No, we ain't. No, we ain't. Don't say that. You fucked up when you say that. No, we ain't. What's wrong with a suit? Well, What's he had a suit what? on, but then he had his shirt. You call that a suit? Right. You call that a suit? <laughs> What's up with the Brooks Brothers? Why do you have to come out there with your stomach out? You said your abs, it. Your abs ain't all that. Right. Why, rap? I said it. I said it. I told you. I told everyone, and I'm being saluted on Twitter. Yes, and you, I you, like you, you. You did say it. You did predict it. The stomach out, and, and he he literally, yeah, literally came with his stomach out. Ezekiel Ezekiel Elliott got drafted by the Dallas Cowboys. Great player, top rated running back from Ohio State. But I got to tell you, we're throwing a red flag. On the NFL draft, red carpet, my man. You can't come out there. Yo, and, and you know what? I'm glad that he's getting fucked with on Twitter. You wanted attention, and it's not always positive attention. That's just the way it is. Like, I don't know what you're trying to say, what the statement is. Word. But if I'm an NFL owner, and this motherfucker shows up to the NFL draft with, a, with, a, with, a, with his midriff showing, mm. I'm questioning whether or not this guy wants to be like, what does he want to do? Like, Word. yo, I, I, I'm questioning, like, what do you want to do? Like, th this guy's going way out of his way for attention on draft night. He, 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 he patented his name. He bought all these. Like, you haven't even taken a, a snap yet. And you're showing, yo, what are you doing? Get some yardage first, dude. Catch a play. Run it back. Word. I mean, and uh, and now apparently the 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 L.A. Rams are going to be playing. Uh, the sponsorship is the Victoria's Secret Stadium. <laughs> this is what's going on with football. It did, I mean, maybe Ezekiel Elliott. They should be testing him for for CTI, man. He maybe have taken too many fucking hits at Ohio State. You look crazy, my man. You look CTE. <laughs> CTE. I don't know. Who <laughs> you guys laugh? Yo, you know maybe, maybe you got maybe you got it. <laughs> nah, I don't got that shit. I don't got that shit, man. Not yet. Yo. Not yet. Yo, I, I I I'm just saying, like, you know, I know it's your day. I, I I can't even imagine the amount of work and effort that it takes to become a first round NFL draft pick. 
And and I love all that, and I love the athletes, and I love you know that these guys have an opportunity to take care of them. I love all of that. I respect the game, the hustle. I respect the amount of hours and hours and hours, the sweat labor, the, the sacrifice, the sacrifice of the family. But yo, you show up at the draft with a... F- it's in Chicago too. Like I would be one thing if it was like maybe... You know what? There wouldn't be one thing. There's no... Ex- i never seen that outfit before. Yo. He literally came seen- in the Michael Sam collection, the, the Michael Sam 2016 full collection. Word. But see, even Michael Sam didn't do no sucker shit like that. Yeah, you 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 you're wilding, man. And I don't Yo, know. But I don't know if it's rap, just what. What's wrong with a suit? When did suits become passe? Right. What's wrong with a suit? See, this is the problem. You know why? They don't have fathers in the house. Mm. You don't see the fathers up at the red carpet. Right. This is why. Right. This is flamboyance. This is a lot of dancing when you're 10, 11 years old, and you're, you're, you're being raised by women, and you think all that shit is cool. Come out in a stoop. Huh. Look, look good. Right. Come out with your stomach out. This is fucking NFL, Jim Brown. Damn. Yeah, you, 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 you're bugging, boy. You're, you're, you're bugging, man. These, these, these dudes are, wa- are really off the chain with this shit, man. My brand, my br- Odell is the Jackie Robinson of all this. Why? Why? He? He? What? What do you mean? What other NFL cat you seen had his hair like that? He was the first to start this, right. and now everybody's copying. The floodgates are opened. NBA, look at look at NBA. They all have his hairstyle. It's it's over, right? Me and you are the last motherfuckers out here. Roy Scheider and Robert Shaw. <laughs> mm. All right, man. Let me tell you something. The Houston Rockets, the, 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 just, just for a little context, I know not everybody's a basketball head that listens to the Iron Rapport Stereo Podcast. And the, the episodes and, and the amount of uh, 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 fans are growing and growing and growing. So I know not everybody loves basketball as much as we do. And we try not to make it stat heavy and all that shit. We try to just talk about the... The roundabout shit. Those fucking guys in Houston, they fired their coach. They got Kevin McHale fired. And I could give two shits about Kevin McHale. He's a Boston Celtic. I have no loyalty to to Kevin McHale at all. But he's a, a great player. Apparently, players love him. They fired him after 11 games because the, 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 the quote unquote, the players weren't responding to them. That means he's he's being a coach. He's not their friend. Then they brought in J.B. Bickerstaff, who's their age and, and you know, could probably relate, quote-unquote. This is all the shit that they, you know, the quote-unquote and, and all that. And he's the son of a coach and all that stuff. And then they quit on him. Wow. When they're playing the Golden State Warriors, when the star of the league, the MVP, is out of the series. Like, if you have any heart and you care about winning – Steph Curry goes out, you should see blood in the water. Like, you should be like, yo, we're going to fu- fuck these guys. We're going to yeah. beat these motherfuckers. Now, we beat them with him. Now, we're going to beat them without him. And we're, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna win this series. And if not, we're, we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to fight. They quit. You think, you, you're talking about Robert Reed and Allen Level. Yeah, they don't have those people anymore. <laughs> I know, I know, but but it's disgraceful that that you know they it's disgraceful that Kevin McHale had to get fired, and then they did the same thing to the other coach, and now he's probably going to get fired, and that was his first chance to coach. And after the game, JB Bickerstaff, the young coach, he's like, expl- I would been like, yo, fuck these guys. If I get fired, fuck these guys. My team ain't Word. shit. They quit on me because he 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 went out like like a gentleman. I would have been pointing fingers like, yo, these guys ain't shit. I'm disappointed. I- I- I'm ashamed that I came in to coach this team and that Kevin McHale had to get fired for this bullshit. I could see why Kevin McHale got fired. They did the same shit they did to me, and I'm yep. their boy. These guys ain't shit. And James yep. Harden, you're so talented and you're so good. Yo, you're on your way to being one of those guys who's so talented and so good who who's on a t- who can get shipped around. Because you're not yeah. winning shit unless you learn how to play. Like, And I don't care that he has eight assists. There's just something about James Harden that is not about team and it's not about making anybody better. Dwight Howard, 
We've hit you enough. Shaq kills you all the time. I, I, I don't know, man. Unfulfilled talent. I, I don't want to bash Dwight Howard. James Harden is too good and too young to play no defense and to just seem like he doesn't give a shit except for anything except for having his beard greased up and, 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 and doing that fucking stupid, you know, sh- cooking the eggs shit after he scores every time. And meanwhile, they got blown out. They got blown out when Steph Curry wasn't even playing. Shame wow. on the Houston Rockets. You should be ashamed of yourself. They should dismantle that team. ASAP. Fucking joke, man. That guy is not a team player because he has no one and he doesn't respect his teammates. No, that's it. Hey, this, this you have no one. I don't buy that, man. Yo, I, I buy that. Michael Jordan, you know, had Bill Wennington and Michael Jordan had Steve Kerr. And like, w- we, whether his methods were, were good or not and he was tough, like, yo, you can make your teammates better. Like, I believe that. Like, I believe that, like, just by a certain amount of, like, look at LeBron. Like, I mean, I, you know, even when he's, forget fucking LeBron. Look at Magic Johnson. You have to build these people up. You have to believe them. And if they don't believe in themselves, you have to believe in them so they could believe in themselves. These are pros. Uh, Patrick Beverly is no, no chump. Jason Terry's no chump. Dwight Howard, you know he's a little mentally soft. But then you have to, you have to, you have to make him believe in himself. Hey, like, yes. You're the guy making a hundred million dollars. You're the one with all the commercials and the beard and all that bullshit. You're getting paid all that money. And you don't care. You don't play defense. Like the fact that, that that like you're on like you get mocked on Instagram for not playing defense. Word, word. Like like those are your your Instagram things. Is 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 not you shaking and baking and doing your thing. Your Instagram things are like yo look at this guy. He doesn't play fucking defense. Yeah. And people are in disbelief. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah. I can't Hell think yeah, of another good. player who, on the regular, gets put on the internet for not playing defense. I could see it one time, you know, or somebody getting, you know, shaking, their ankles breaking. I'd rather you get your ankles broken than you, you're you up there and you, like, playing some, like, you, you, this is like, you don't care. In the playoffs? Right. Yeah. In the fucking get- playoffs? <laughs> like Jim Moore, playoff? Yo, he gets ridiculed. Yo, this is going to be a tough time for him, man. Hey, yo. Yo, everybody goes through the learning curve, but but that kind of that thing, that little thing that we're talking about, it's a thing. It's a, it's he we, he obviously has the talent. He he he's sick. He could score whenever he wants, but at some point you're gonna have to realize that doesn't mean shit. That doesn't yeah. mean shit when you're in Utah nothing. next year, and then and then you do a little stint in Minnesota, and then you yeah. get sh- yo Stephon Marbury. Yo, he could score too. There's a lot of NBA players that could score. A lot of NBA players that had talent. You know, look look at Carmelo. You, you, he's not like Carmelo's a fucking a scoring machine. At the, yeah, you absolutely. know, you get to be you get to be 31, 32 quick, and shit changes. And James, and, and, he's with his beard, and it's like the image, and the, you got paid. All right, you're right. But check it. You put Steph Marbury in that. And you got to take Steph Marbury out. No. Because Steph Marbury is now a citizen of China. They gave him citizenship. Steph Marbury did what you're supposed to do. Don't beg these motherfuckers for no job or nothing. If you're in your early 30s and China will have you, uh-huh. go do your thing. He got a stamp, a museum, a statue, and citizenship. Hey, who else what has all he- that over there? No one. We told Lamar to go there before you went to the whole house. <laughs> huh, rap? Before he went to the whole house to fuck with, kiss my grits. Right. We did say that. Yeah. We did say yeah. that. We said, we suggested Lamar. Before, but we, we said it, but we're on record for saying it. Before everything went bad, we said, just go to China, fuck with Steph, and, 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 and get away from this craziness. You'll never see Steph in the United States again. The Iron Rapport Stereo Podcast is sponsored by Casper Mattress, an obsessively engineered mattress at a shockingly fair price. It combines a springy latex and supportive memory foam to create an award-winning sleep service. Moody, you know that Time Magazine named it one of the best inventions of 2015? You can get your Casper mattress shipped for free in the United States and Canada and return for free. You could sleep on it for 100 nights in your home. If you don't love it, they will pick it up 
and refund you everything. It's made in America. Mattresses often cost well over $1,500, but Casper mattresses cost $500 for a twin mattress. Wow. And $950 for a king. Buying a Casper mattress is completely risk-free. Go to Casper.com and save $50 towards any mattress purchased by visiting www.casper.com forward slash Rappaport and using the promo code Rappaport, R-A-P-A-P-O-R-T. Terms and conditions apply. C-A-S-P-E-R. Some people that have listened to the podcast already have already bought the mattresses. This brand is building and building and building. And I, I, I don't know what else to say. We love the mattress. They got sheets. They got pillows. And yep. Casper.com, man, it, I, pfft, we fuck with you hard body karate. Did you see the Celtics game last night? Yeah, man, I saw it. Did you see Bill Russell? I, I thought I thought the message was clear <laughs> to, 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 to Bill Russell. I know this gentleman is getting older, and we say this with all due respect. And I don't even blame Bill Russell at this point. I have to blame his handlers. And when I say handlers, when you're that big of a star and celebrity, you have handlers. There's at least one to two people around you. And and if he doesn't have a personal handler, when he steps into Boston Garden, trust me, there's somebody there that's there just to greet Bill Russell. And the first thing they should say to him is, Mr. Russell, step into the green room and let us fucking fix your wig piece. He Blur. looked crazy last night. He looked like they just pulled him out of a tree. <laughs> we, we, why? We, I don't understand why he shows up to these games and these public events. This guy is one of the most coveted, most beloved figures in sports history. He's beyond sports. He's beyond sports. He deserves to show up looking dignified. I don't, and I'm not talking about his dress. Dress however you want. Be comfortable. He's an older gentleman. But why does he look like he just stepped out of a methadone clinic? Like he wandered into Boston Garden. He looks crazy. His hair looks crazy. Homeless. You deserve better. So I'm blaming the Boston Celtics. Yeah. For putting him courtside. Looking like he just came off a skid row. He deserves better. And somebody needs to tell him because obviously no one in his home is telling him. Where, 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 where's the trainer, Melchiori? Where, remember that guy with the fucking uh, Melchiori? Yeah, the old Celtics tell, guy. Yeah, tell him. Give him, give him some Dax. Give him uh, a comb. Give him a no. He needs a he needs a fucking scissor and and, and like a, like a buzz saw to to just because I know that's not easy to cut through what he's got. Give him give him uh, Dax grease. Let me tell you because I'm black. Okay, sorry. Give him Dax grease and a comb. <laughs> <sighs> what else? Okay, you know, you know, we started this all loaves matter campaign, and 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 I, and I gotta say, you know, people think it's a joke. Were people think like we, it's something like you know, like a little hashtag thing? No, 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 no. All loaves matter is real. It's scary. And it needs to be addressed. Women are, 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 are mutilating men's testicles and loafs, their penises, their appendages. Men are cutting other men's dicks off. Men are cutting their own Dang. dicks off. Just the other day, a woman in Florida shot her husband in the quote-unquote knee Only to have the bullet lodged in his testicles. Now listen, lady. Victoria Reed from Florida. 60-year-old Melbourne, Florida woman. Yo, my man, my man don't have, my man didn't have a a, a, a two-foot dick. You didn't shoot him in his knee. He cheated on you, so you shot him in his loaf. Okay? And it's not cool. It's not cool. You might as well just kill him, because now he's going to live... With, with, I don't know, a mutilated dick. All loaves word. matter. Word, word. We, we, we've been saying this shit for uh, the whole year. Nobody wants to stop. No one wants to take it serious. Like, they think it's a joke here. It's not. All it's not. loaves matter. Listen, Victoria Reed, you get a wig of please. You act crazy. You do some dumb shit. You get the wig of please. <laughs> yes. 
Yo, we keeping our eyes open for them people wilding out. Wigger, please, is what we scream and shout. You better act right before we put your shit on blast. Do yourself a favor, try to have a little class. Cause like rapping, one ain't having it. So save yourself from the embarrassment. Think before you talk, or just keep your mouth shut. Cause this is I am Rappaport, and we don't give a what. So if you lose your cool, you get wigger, please. If you acting a fool, you get a wigger, please. If you wildin' like an idiot, wigger, please. If you acting all ignorant, you get a wigger, please. If you don't listen to this new shit, you get a wigger, please. And if you do something stupid, you get a wigger, please. There was a dude who took his little son on, 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 on not even one of those like Magic Mountain rides, a local amusement park in Texas. Took a six year old on there, and while Shorty was on the roller coaster with his father, imagine this shit. Oh, I, I, I heard about that. The seatbelt on his shit broke. Shorty almost fell out of the thing. They had, I saw the video. The kid. Yo, I didn't like seeing it. The kid was scared shit. The father was hanging on to his son for dear life. Damn. Wouldn't you? Of course. The kid the kid looks like he, he saw a ghost. And then when he got down to the end and, and the father's like, yo, he, he's telling the guy at the ride, yo, what the fuck are you doing? The guy at the end of the ride said, oh, sorry, that happens sometimes. Oh, shit. Wigger, please. That's the hillbilly shit. Wigger. Please, he, yo, money should have been like, the, the kid looked crazy scared, man. Yeah, man, damn, that's some shit right there, though. But you know, what I, else, man? Here's, here's another wig of please I'm going to give you. I read this article the other day, and I didn't like the way it was phrased. It says, <laughs> it was in the Huffington Post, Huffington Post women's section. There's Huff, Huff Post women. What about men? They don't give a shit. They don't, they don't have that. That's they are transgender. Yeah, they, they I, got the, <laughs> the we're, gender. We're going to get to that. The Bruce section. We're going to get to that. It says, why so many young women love the pullout method? And, 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 and it went, first of all, the, the name of the article is wrong. What? Yeah, because the, the name of the article shouldn't be why so many young women love the pullout method as if they're convincing young men that the pullout method is good. First of all, Whoa. the men love the pullout method too, okay? Hell yeah. But, 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 but I'm going to tell you something. You, 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 you need to, you need to protect, protect your loaf at all times. I don't support Whoa. the pullout method, especially if, you are, if you're a young shooter. Okay, because if you're a uh, young shooter, you, 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 your fuck game ain't insane. Your fuck style ain't buck wild. You barely know what you're doing. You're wet around the ears. God only knows what's kind of, I don't know what kind of vegetitis and gross you could catch these days. They're, they're, they're changing up the, the, the STDs at all times. So I don't, if you're a young shooter and you're not married, you need to, you need to bag up. Don't go raw, without, raw dog without a bag. Leave that to me and Moody. Yeah, uh huh. Okay. Yes, sir. Le le leave that to the to the to, to to the big guys. Okay, but the fact that they're like and, and women are going in this article, the the Huffington Post talk about a hipster manifesto. Holy yeah. shit. Cause you it's need like a newsletter. A, oh man. It, it, it's treated as if it's like this real, you know, highfalutin shit. It's a hipster manifesto. They're saying Word. that sixty percent of women are relying on their partner. So, you know, like, it's up to the man to have his have his shit together. To pull out? Right. The man is the one who, who you know, who's going to say, yo. And these young girls are leaving it up to these men to do it. And these little oh, they, men. They're going to be pregnant. Yeah. So, uh, so the point of the article is, like, they like to leave it in the man's hands. Yeah, and and then they love the pullout method. And I'm giving these girls that are doing this a wig of please, and I give the entire Huffington Post a wig of please. Yeah, you 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 promoting pregnancy. Right. Motherfuckers, that feeling, you got to pull out. Let let's let's give him the uh how to do it rap. Okay, but let's keep it let's keep it so you know It's it, going to be it's going to be clean. It's going to okay, be clean. Okay, cuz cuz sometimes you get a little way out there with it. No, no. You have to, when you get that tingle, you got to go before the tingle comes. Right. Don't, once the tingle comes. Pregnant. Because you, juice comes out. Before. They call that the pre-K. 
That's right. As soon as it 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 it's feeling a little good, just 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 pull it out. <laughs> yeah, go go pull out. Go look yourself in the mirror. Reevaluate. Check yourself. Get your mind together. As my man Boo Bear would say, go drink a quart of orange juice and come back. Right. Our friend Boo Bear from Brownsville. That was his suggestion on safe sex. Pull out, drink a quart of orange juice, and then come back. Right. That's uh, <laughs> uh, safe sex by uh, Boo Bear from uh, Brownsville section of Brooklyn. That's right. Um, Tropicana. Yeah, right, Tropicana. And, and I had the, the, the privilege of one time walking in on, on Boo Bear in between one of his sessions, and he actually was drinking. Drinking? Tro- yeah, and he, he answered the door naked. Um, yeah, with it, a glossy loaf. Right, and he was, he was, it was as if he was fully clothed with, with, the, with the Tropicana in his hand. He was like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, why are you even answering the door? I remember I said, why are you answering the door, yo? He pulled out. <laughs> Bingo. Yo, another thing in the All Loaves Matter campaign that needs to be addressed. <sighs> this hurt me to hear this shit. A, a man was was on a toilet. Dropping a deuce. And he was bitten on his 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 loaf by a a a, 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 a red back spider as he sat on the toilet. Damn. Yo, all loaves matter. I mean, Wait, he was in a gas station or some shit. I, he was in a portable toilet at, at some sort of a yeah, at a gas station or something. I don't want to fuck. I don't fact check. They, he had to call the paramedics. They, they, all the explaining you got to do when that happens. The, the humiliation, the, the the fear. It's not like he got bit. It's one thing to get bit on your ankle or your arm, and you and then you're you're scared. Not, not only you, then they got to examine all up. It's just the. Can you imagine? Damn. I knew I knew a guy once who broke his dick and he had to go get surgery on it. And he was in there like he was like, yo, man, the lady comes in, the nurse, and then they gotta change the gauze. I mean How lo- this motherfucker broke his dick. All loaves matter. A- 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 ain't no bones in that shit. Your man was doing some unsavory shit that he didn't tell you. Right. Well, I didn't because- ask all that. I just I'm just saying. Yeah. See, that's your problem. <laughs> I don't you know. supposed to you can't break your motherfucking. It's, dick. Hey, he was in there. He had to get dick surgery, Duke. So I, I, that's all I'm telling you. Okay, <sighs> I'm letting you know that that happened. It, Bring money on the show. Nah, I ain't coming on here, man. Yeah, I uh, know. I know, motherfucker. <laughs> what else is man? What else is going on, Monetti? Oh man, everything. Everything is slow motion, man. Just getting ready to get on this flight. Get out there to do us. We at the Hollywood Improv. Yes. That's home court. That's home court. <laughs> I, I said on that, on, that, on that podcast, I might drop some uh, some of my um, unearthed footage from the Hollywood Improv from my stand-up comedy days. There's footage that no one has ever seen, no one's ever heard. It's still on a VHS. Bring that out, Duke. Yeah, I might, I might put some of that up. I might Word. put some of that up. It, it, it was it's, there 14 years of age, man. 13 and 83. Yes. Our improv stories are fantastic. We have incredible yeah. improvisation club. If you don't know the improv, it's it's the most famous comedy club uh in the world. No disrespect to the to the comedy store and the laugh right. factory. You 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 were you didn't even exist. Yeah. You didn't even Absolutely. exist the laugh factory Absolutely. uh in eighty three. Yeah, we saw great comedians, man, as little kids. So we are at home court. <laughs> and we're, 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 we're doing it with the Dirty Sports guys live uh, in, in L.A. What else, Mr. Monetti? Oh, man. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, Steph Curry coming back. Uh, he is the draw of the playoffs. Uh, so I want to see half-court shots. I like the Barnum and Bailey type shit. And when he's gone, I'm fucked up. Yo, I, I'm still enjoying it, man. I'm still in. I, 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 I'm loving the playoffs, and 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 you know I I gotta say, uh, uh, tonight, I know people don't listen to this all the time at the same time, and these episodes last in, uh, forever. But the, the day that uh, 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 we're dropping this tonight, the uh, Charlotte Hornets 
are playing the Miami Heat. Now, I talked about the Charlotte Hornets mistreatment of Patrick Ewing um, on ESPN. I quoted the great G. Monetti and said that they've taken the man. I mean, Patrick Ewing had one of the most distinct scowls in sports history. From when he was at Georgetown to when he was in the NBA, he never smiled. He was as intense of a competitor. You could say what you want to say. He was as intense of a competitor as you get. And they have broken him where he looks like he will cry on the drop of a dime. Yeah. G. Bambi. G. Monetti said he, he looks like fucking Bambi. <laughs> and we're saying this with all due respect because he's on the bench doing shot charts for Frank Kaminsky. But we also talked about the Buzz City jerseys. And now, let me, let me, let me just explain something to you people. I'm a, I'm a New York Knicks fan. I've never, ever, ever, ever rooted for the Miami Heat, ever. I'm talking about, I'm a, I'm a Knicks fan from when the, 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 the Heat and the Knicks were going, they were getting into it, fighting, where they were, like, they were dragging my man uh, Jeff Van Gundy uh, around the court. They, they, they were, Ronnie Cycli, I mean, they were going at it. P.J., what was, what's his name? P.J. Brown. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I actually am rooting for the Charlotte Hornets to beat the Miami Heat in the first round. But that doesn't mean I'm going to support the jersey that says Buzz City. But don't get it twisted. Whoa. I'm not shitting on the Charlotte basketball community or the Hornets in general. Now, that doesn't, that's not the same for the... Toronto Raptors, I, 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 I can't fuck with you guys. And it's because of your little mascot, Drake. He's <laughs> clapping behind people's oh. hands. Like when they come, like, yo, somebody's going to be like, yo, see, he, he's not doing that to any like relevant or star players. He's always doing it to like the eighth man off the bench or this man off the, he's going to do that to the wrong dude. He's always screaming in their ears and talking behind the opposing team's ears and all that. That wouldn't fly in the 80s. Yeah. With anybody yeah. from the 80s. You're not in the game. You're not in the game. And and from what we see, you don't even play ball, Duke. Like, yo. With them tight ass jeans, man. I don't even, th I don't think this dude ever played basketball. Like, I don't know, understand, like, wh wh how you're such a, a rabid fan. And, and from the videos that I've seen you playing, like, you look like you never played ball until you got famous. Sit your ass down, go outside the arena, do some songs for them fans that are out there in, in the heat. Standing around saying, we does six. We does six. I'm going to tell you who he is. The Peebo Bryson of hip hop. Explain yourself. You remember Peebo Bryson was making duets. Yes. With Stephanie Mills, Denise Williams. He's that. Mm. He's doing that shit with Rihanna and all that, that Johnny Mathis shit. He's that. That's not an MC. Right. Domino. Well, these dudes seem to be these seem to be these 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 players seem to be smitten with them because no one told yo, somebody's turning around. They around love the, Drake, boy. Sit your ass down, Duke. Straight up. You're not Michael Jackson. All those dances are weak. Word. Yo. You look ridiculous. You're not Mike. You're not the late great prince. You're not Mike. You're not you look. That, what's that shit, man? <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I know. But, but money jumping up and down like a dolphin. What the fuck, man? Yo. Yo, they fucking up my football, rap. Yo, I hear you. They fucking up my football. Wait, they how? Wait, time. Time. You, wait, time. 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 Okay. Yeah, I'm with the time. Time. <laughs> how is Drake fucking up your football? Like, where are you going, man? Here we go. He opened up the floodgates for all the sucker shit. Mm. Right? So now you got a lot of guys dancing uh, among themselves, not with women. Right, right, right. So when I see my favorite receiver dancing with a whole bunch of guys, I'm a little perplexed. Yes, no doubt. I'm like, damn, damn, man. Yo, where, where the chicks at? I want to see him balling. Like Puffy said, laying up. Yeah. where your chicks at? Where your whips where your at? Whips the word. See, that's it, rap. <laughs> Yo, I, 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 
I, you know, I don't, I think, I think we can't promise to not mention Trump until the shit is over. One, one way or another. It needs, President Trump. You, come on, man. He may never go away, win, lose, or draw. But do you know that Republican Caitlyn Jenner hooked oh. up with Trump, no Bruno, and he went in the bath. We just talked about this. He went to go use the ladies' room in the, in the, in the Trump hotels, like to go check it out on some like transgender equality shit. I don't know what, like, yo, Caitlyn Jenner. What kind of toilet? What kind of toilet you want? He went into the bathroom. The women's room. You sit or you stand. It's yeah. very simple. I watched the last the the the, the last few episodes of, of I Am Kate. He said he still has that dick. I know. So you go to the men's bathroom. If 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 you're so uh oh 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 I want to be down with the transgender shit, be cognizant of the other human beings. Other people are around too. It's because it's like it's just not okay to be bullied into this. And it's not okay to like, yo, we're just going to do this. And if you don't do this, we're going to out fuck. you. Because they want to they wanna out you as not being compassionate or not. Yo, yo, fuck all that. And don't, and don't try to link this shit with black people and civil rights. Right. No. No, don't try to link it. We're not going to let you do it. I'm certainly not going to let you do it. Wait, how so? Explain. Expound. Yo, the bathroom... If you have a penis, you go into the men's bathroom, right? If you have the operation and you're a full-fledged woman, then you go into the women's bathroom. Mm. But if you're going to look like Andre the Giant with a cock, <laughs> with a loaf, you can't go in that uh, uh, women's bathroom because you have to be cognizant of people having their, their little girls in there. And you look fucked up. <laughs> You don't look like a lady per se. Right. Right? So let's be honest about ourselves. I can't go into a lady's bathroom and say, here I am. Well, I'm a lady. Well, well, you know, it's like they, they want the compassion and the compassion and, and, and the understanding goes both ways. It has to Word. go both ways. It's not going to just be if you don't do what we say, you're a scumbag and you're a homophobe and you're a transphobe. That's not how it's going to go down. 900,000 people, 900,000 people signed a petition to boycott Target from letting people do this. And, and it, it, you don't even have to have the surgery. It, it's about how you identify yourself. So if you identify yourself, if you, G. Monetti, tomorrow woke up and you went into a Target and you identified yourself tomorrow, you don't even have to put any lipstick on or a dress. If you are saying you identify as a woman, you, th th they're trying to get it so you can go into the bathroom. However, you don't have to have the surgery. Yeah. You don't have to... And 900,000 people said, no, this isn't okay. I like that. See, see, we're not the only Robert Shaw and Roy Scheider. There's 900, a lot of them. Yeah. It, it, this, this is going to have to be settled out. I don't know. Like, Bruce, you got a lot of... Sorry. Caitlin, you got a lot of money. You're going to have to start paying for that third bathroom, Duke. Because this, this, is, this is going to turn ugly. And it ain't going to just be me and Monetti, uh, you know, talking, talking shit. It, it, like people are afraid to, because you get you if you get out and doing it. I'm not, I'm a compassionate person. I, I, yeah, I, I don't give a fuck about that. We we care about the trannies. But check this out, rap. Yo, we're gonna create a bathroom for you, so you don't have to go through all that. Right. Right. And and, and it's not gonna be disrespectful. Male, female, wig niggas. <laughs> That's going to be, wait, so I'm sorry. Uh, say that again. Male. Mm -hmm. Female. All right. Wig niggas. Okay. All right. All right. Yo. Simple. Shit. Yo, Monetti. So this is how we're going to do this. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm about to, uh, we're about to take a, a little break. And then, and then, and then I got, I got the young shooter, uh, uh, little Dean. We're letting him off. We're letting him off suspension. He, so so he's gonna he's gonna come and rock. He you remember he was suspended because he tried to fact check on the I am Rapport stereo pocket. We had to lock him down for a few weeks. But he he may or may not have unwillingly smoked crack 
in New York during the Tribeca Film Festival trip. Remember, we were talking about, so he's going to oh, explain what happened. Yeah, yeah. And yo, I'm out. Let him do him. Yeah, because I need to get to the <laughs> bottom of it because the shooter, he, he's a good dude, man. Shooter's a great guy. I love shooting. All right, so uh, Monetti, well, what can I say? Yo, if you want a soft-ass I Am Rapport stereo podcast t-shirts, they are available at districtlines.com forward slash I Am Rapport. I see you, Monetti. You, 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 you're rocking that uh, that red, black, and green I Am Rapport stereo pod. Is, I mean, I wear them every day. I, 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 it's not because I'm wearing them because I, cause I, I love seeing myself on a shirt. It's because they're so goddamn soft. I try yes. to wear my Jake one, and I try to wear uh, the G Monetti version because you know, I, you know, as much as I as I as I love the podcast, it, I look crazy wearing my own shirt, but I'll wear it just because of the comfort level. That's right. Me too, man. Um. All right. So we're gonna see you in Los Angeles next week, and we're gonna be yeah. doing some some special stuff. We're doing live. We're gonna do a call in episode. Word up, yo! And when you call in, listen, I'm gonna tell you something right now. Ask a good question. Yeah, ask a good question, and don't don't call in trying to try to pop shit. Word. All right, because because we hung up on motherfuckers. Yeah, because if you, I'm gonna tell you, because if you're on that frisbee ass shit and you just try to call in, I can't see your face and I can't snap on you. You're not calling in talking about my nose or any of that shit. <laughs> All right, because but if you want to send me a picture and then say some shit, then I and I could like I could I could chop you down real quick. But if you call in talking greasy, we're not even entertaining. So have a good question, have a good comment, come with love. Or I'm not even going to engage in it. I'm, I'm not even going to engage in it. That's right. Um. All right. Do you think, man? I'm gone, bro. Y- you're out. I'm, I'm gone, man. I'm in Brooklyn. I'm gone. All right, so if you never listen, though, uh, Dean Collins, a.k.a. The Young Shooter, um, actor, director. But this is my first episode back since my suspension. You were suspended. And that- and, and how, did, how do you feel being back? Because you, you, you've been, you, you were suspended. And what were you suspended for? Because you didn't know who Paulie Walnuts was, and there yeah. was another infraction. That was it. And- no, there was another thing. You no. said something on the airways of the I Am Rapport Stereo Podcast, and it was you didn't know who Paulie Walnuts is. Shame on you. And and the other thing was, I can't remember what it was, but I'm you sure. You can't remember. But it was enough to no, get it you wasn't. suspended. It wasn't. It, it wasn't just a one thing. You no, know, it was two things, and then we fucking booted you. Okay, but can I just tell you, because I actually have never told you this, and we're live right now. Yep. It kind of hurt my feelings that I got suspended from the podcast, and you weren't even the one to tell me. The rapper pack were like, yo, dude, you got fucking suspended. How dare you fact check? And I'm like, what the fuck is going you on? You fact checked. Sure. That's what yeah, it was. I did. You I, fact checked. And I well, fact this checked. is the I Am Rapport Stereo Podcast. We pride ourselves on not Our whole mantra is not fact checked. I know, but you were shitting on me and shitting on me and shitting on me. And I didn't fucking see The Sopranos. I know it's a good show. My parents watch it. My whole family watches it. It was so, a, yeah. That's what it was. You fact checked. And you fact checked who Paulie Walnuts was. So it was like it was like a it was like a one two. You didn't know who Paulie Walnuts was, yeah. and then you fact checked who he was. It was all fucked up. Yeah. Let, let's stay focused because we're glad you're back. Um, you 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 you're a controversial figure in in the world of the Iron Rapport Stereo Podcast. <laughs> but I, what I wanted to talk to you about is. Um, when we were in New York for, for, for the world premiere of Hard Love and Woman, the documentary that I directed about Juliet Lewis with the Tribeca Film Festival, Robert De Niro's Film Festival, yeah. um, everybody was having a good time. Mm-hmm. Um, it, was, it was a party-like atmosphere. We, had, we were in a hotel. We, 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 we sort of had run in the middle of the hotel. But, we're, we're, you know, like, I don't go crazy. You were there with your friend, Logan Lerman. Mr. Logan Lerman. Right. Yeah. Who's such a fucking hot shot. He, yeah. he, we wanted to get him on it, but he was busy filming in New York or some shit, right? Logan's, some bullshit like that, right? Logan's busy. He's... I got to twist this little prick's arm mm-hmm. just to get a tweet or a retweet every fucking second. I, so I, do I, man. I've been best friends with him for 12 years. I got to fucking twist It's nothing to be proud arm. about. It's nothing like, oh, I've been best friends. Don't, don't, don't name yeah, drop. Well, not name drop, but I'm just saying that we've been friends for a long time. You had a night where um, things went awry and, and, and you you may or may not have smoked crack and you wound up in the bed. I didn't get all yeah. the details, but I knew that it was podcast story worthy. So why don't you give me a uh, 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 a version that could be entertaining and fulfilling uh mm-hmm. to not just me but to the listeners about let me just ask you did you did you are you have you gotten your blood test back to see no. whether or not you did smoke crack no i didn't um i don't think i smoked crack and i just want to preface this by saying like i wasn't 
going out on an, on like a mission to go find crack. I'm not that dude. I, I know that. I'm not like I, the I crack know that. Dude. You you may have reluctantly let's say we you may have reluctantly smoked crack. Thank you. Can we let's let, start with let, that. Let's make sure that's the quote that goes out in as the As long end. as it's out there. That the you airwaves. may have reluctantly not knowing not knowingly smoked crack okay. from a woman's purse. Okay. Um so anyway, you know, I'm out there with my buddy Logan. We're at uh -huh. the premiere. I actually was fortunate enough to work on Hard Loving Woman from the start. And, uh, you know, it was an exciting night. It was an exciting premiere. Everyone was having a fun, fun time. And me and Logan ended up meeting these two Argentinian girls. Uh -huh. um, you know, I was just, I was vibing with them. We were flirting, blah, blah, blah. It was a fun night. But they had um, come with their other friend, this this black chick. Uh -huh. um, I love black girls too, by the way. It's, right. I'm not saying it like, oh, of she's course. a black chick. Um, but she was very large. A very large black chick, which I don't discriminate against. She was very, very sweet. Okay. okay? Very like sweet. when you say large, because I didn't see her. I saw the Argentinian girls. Large. Beautiful. Big, Argentinian girls were beautiful. Now, how, how, like, would you say, if you had to guesstimate, how much do you weigh? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say 140. Okay, what if you had to? If you had a gun to your head yeah. and you really had to really think, like, think about it. The Fuck. girth. What do you think this chick tipped the scales at? Two, two ten, two no, twenty, no, no. one ninety. Over two ten. Over two Are you ten. fucking serious? I'm one forty, bro. Look do at you. Me. Think, do you think? Like, could this chick be on like the Biggest Loser? Like, was no, she that no, big? No, 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 no. Not like that. No. Okay. You wouldn't like bat your eye like, damn, that chick is big, but. I mean, look, I'm like hanging out with these petite Argentinian girls. She stuck out like a sore thumb, let's okay. just say. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. But I'm not, you know, saying that she wasn't sweet. Whatever. Anyway, so. She, she, I, I rest assured the legions and legions of people that are listening to this. Yeah. I, I doubt that what, we, this girl, we're not going to say her name, I hope, is yeah. listening. That's, she might, though. I, that's what I always get a little nervous about, just because, you know. If it were me, I would like to say the names. I want to give the fans. No, like, no, no. We don't need the fine. details. Don't, don't we don't gotta, need the details. That's fine. So anyway, fast forward. We're having a good night. We're after partying. Um, it's going really well. And I'm trying to be cool. And I'm like, I'm trying to find some weed on the streets. You uh -huh. know, it's not ca it's not California. I don't have my club card out there. It's very tough in New York. And I'm just trying to like, yo, uh, let's uh, share with the people that aren't from California that, that like to smoke that flower. What it's really like here in Los Angeles. If you're into smoking that flower, I'm not even, I'm not the dude that's like LA over New York, LA, like we're the Me shit, neither. but I got to tell you it, it, when it comes to that, when it comes to flower power, that shit, it, it, I mean, it's literally like the it, this is what it's like. If, you, if you've never been to Los Angeles and you don't live in the California, the state of California right. or one of these legalized states, here's, here's the thing. You know Circle K's or 7-Elevens? You know a Circle K's? It's like a 7-Eleven. Okay. So, so a, you could drive or walk up to them. Like you could literally, they're as frequent as a Circle K or a 7-Eleven uh, or your local bodega for my people in New York or, yeah. in, or in Chi-Town. They're literally that frequent. And when you go in there... It's as, it's probably more friendly than a local bodega or a 7-Eleven. 100%. So just so you know, if you're into smoking that that flower, yeah. In California and in Los Angeles, yeah. that's that's what's going on. So so you're in New York now. You you don't have you don't have any hookups in New York. I have York. no hookups. Um so and you're I'm, trying to cook them flowers. Yeah, I'm like trying to just like fuck, you know, let's let's get a little buzz going. Let's go up to my hotel. You want to get wacky? Oh, yeah. so you're telling this I to gotta, the girls. Yeah, bro. I'm with these two Argentinian girls and Logan and the big black girl, and we're on the streets at this point, drunk. And I'm like, yo, I'm gonna find some weed. So I see this like she looks kind of she looks a little cracked out and she's trying to hail a cab, but she the was kind of cute. girl? No, no, this blonde girl I see on the street. She's like, taxi, taxi. And I'm like, yo, fuck it. I'm going to ask her if she's got any of that flower. You're just so, asking a random I was street? asking on the streets. Yo, man, oh, yo, by shit. the way, do you smoke bud? Like, what's the deal? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was trying to like, you know, just like feel my way out. It's not right, my city. Right, so right, right, like, right. Yo, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, thank you, bro. Um, but anyway, I asked her and I said, you know, Logan's like, stop asking people on the streets if they smoke weed. You don't do that out here. And so I said, hey, do you smoke? Do you have any weed on you? We're trying to smoke. And she's like, I do. And I'm like, fuck yeah. We're like, holy shit. Like the one chick I asked, we get lucky. So she's going through her purse. And I like look down at the purse. Um, and she's got like literally tobacco covering the bottom of the purse. And just like other random shit at the bottom. And she whips out this crack pipe. Not your typical marijuana pipe that you pack in the bowl and you're hitting it. You know, it's like... Jungle fever, it's like, like Sam some Jackson. Like, yeah, it's like some fuck... It's like a crack pipe, for real. And I'm like, this is 
odd, but fuck it. You know, I'm drunk. I'm trying to get that buzz. So she scoops up some of that fucking wacky tobacco at the bottom of the purse and shoves it in the crack pipe. Fuck it. I'm going for that first hit. Logan's all, yo, I'm You're good. So, so you don't know if she's smoking that Richard Pryor. I wasn't even thinking about the Richard Pryor, to be honest. I was just like, fuck yeah, we scored. If I got to smoke this spliff, I'll smoke that fucking spliff. It looks dirty, but So you don't down. care. You may or may not have been smoking those gray skies. I don't know, but I'll tell you what was the distinguishing factor between weed and, and crack was, you know, I lit it and I'm like, fuck yeah, I lit it. And I the second I inhaled, it was <laughs> like immediately. And, you know, I, you know, I smoke, like I smoke weed. I'm not like, I don't have my virgin lungs. I know weed. I know what spliffs are like. And this was like something else. I, I, let's just say I didn't go back for a second hit and Logan was giving me shit about it. Yo, I can't believe, I think you just smoked did crack. Did Logan reluctantly smoke crack or Logan not? Logan did not smoke Okay, it. okay. Cause we don't want to throw him no, under no, the no, bus. No, no, no. He did not. Why are you winking? I'm not winking. Okay, okay. I'm just kidding. Motherfucker. You may, you may I know okay. I didn't. Okay, wink, okay. But okay. he didn't smoke it. I smoked it. We were all and now fast. So forward. you don't know it could have been crack or it could have been those gray skies. The girls I the girl that I was with, the big black girl, had actually smoked cocaine. Um unbeknownst that to night? me. That night? That night she had rolled cocaine joint. I think I that's didn't even called know. I think that's what? called um What is that? A cocaine. I gotta, joint. I gotta listen to Wu Tang because because they would. I, I I think that's called. It's on some Wu Tang shit, but I don't know what that. Yeah, she what's smoked. That that, let's just call it that Wu Tang. Okay, right she was now. smoking on that. She was on that Wu Tang. She's like, she's like, yo, I just smoked that Wu Tang, and I'm like, that's dope, that's dope for sure. So like, let's try and find some weed. She's like, no, 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 I just smoked that Wu Tang, and I'm like, I was like, what's Wu Tang? And she's like, that's like cocaine in a joint. And she I, told you this? Yeah, no, like, I didn't this was think normal. I didn't think anything of it. I thought yo, she was joking. I, I, I want to tell people this straight up about me. I've never sniffed anything, snorted anything, or taken any pills of any kind. I've been drunk. And you barely Maybe two get or drunk, three bro. T- like yo, I, I like yo. You're a ginger ale guy. I'm a ginger ale guy. So when you tell me that a young girl, yeah, is smoking that Wu Tang, yeah, like it's nothing, I'm frightened, bro. I was, I was so frightened. I Did just started get, nervously laughing. I so didn't know she what was to do. wet. Essentially, she was already. She already knew about that. So that's when she was enjoying the wacky tobacco from the purse. When she's like, yeah, dope. That's when I was like, fuck. If she's liking this, I think I'm on that Wu Tang shit now. Fuck. I know. And so anyway, we fast forward, we walk back to our hotel room. We got, you know, me, Logan, the two Argentinian girls. And when we say hotel room, we're talking about hotel fucking box. It's a box. What do you mean it's a box? Your room was a shithole. I lived uh, oh, I had no. a fucking suite. No, man. You, your room was no. a, like it was a, it was a traditional hotel. It was a nice room. It was a great room. But it was not sizable. I don't need anything the like fact crazy, that, the bro. The fact that you're saying there's five people in one room. In one bed, my dude. Not just one room. We were all up in that bed. I got photos on my on my camera phone if you want to so, see so it. you're in the bed and 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 yeah. and, 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 and we're all and, and taking photo, we're, so everybody's clothed we're all we're all clothed we're all in the in the bed and everybody's we're using, high out of their tree high out of the tree and we're all using the selfie stick to take photos you had made me get a selfie stick. so do you. you think that this night being on crack and, and yeah, i wasn't and, on crack we don't have to say that but was what broke my 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 se- no. myself because my selfie stick made it 20, didn't even make it 24 hours. No, it didn't. And you got like that we made a stick. now famous viral uh, 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 video of you and me on the streets with the sub. And then the next day, that was the end of yeah, my that selfie was stick. A I mean, you, you broke, broke my it. fucking... No, you broke it. And it was a high-end $37 selfie stick. $40. That's some... I got But fucking, you broke it, dude. Bro, I didn't do nothing, yeah, you dude. Fucking I didn't did, dude. fucking do shit. Whatever. The self, forget the selfie stick. I didn't break stick. my fucking selfie stick. All right, stick. forget the fucking stick. Forget I said anything. Two tons stick. of fun broke my selfie stick. Oh, shit. All right, so listen, I'm in the bed. We're all vibing out. Next thing you know, it's it's fucking 6 a.m., right? We're all just like in the bed, chilling out. We all start laying down. And no one's trying to freak no off. No one's getting freaky because you got third wheel. What? How did you refer to her? I like that. Two tons of fun? Two tons of fun. That's dope. Two tons of fun was in the bed. And two tons of fun was just like she was the elephant in the room. You know what I mean? Not, uh, well, I guess that does make sense, but I didn't mean it like that. But- we're all laying down, and then the next thing you know, one of the blonde Argentinian girls goes, I got to go. I'm going to go. It's 6 a.m. I got to go. And her and her friend leave, and I'm like, oh, shit. These girls are leaving. All right, we didn't get lucky. I got another night out here, whatever. They leave. Then it, you know, then it's me, Logan, and the big black girl in the bed. 
fine. That's all good. Mm-hmm. But I told Logan, my dude, this is my bed. I'm not getting in the middle. You got that middle, dude. Uh-huh. And he was like, fuck it, dude. So I got you're my... spooning Logan and he's no, spo- not, no, 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 no. You just, you're putting words in my mouth. I didn't you, say I'm spooning anybody. Were you spooning Logan? I didn't say I was spooning anybody. Was Logan spooning you? No one was spooning anybody. Was Logan anybody. spooning the girl? Somebody bro, you got somebody. some weird fantasies with nah, Logan, bro. Nah, my Duke, my no, Duke, my, no, my Duke, Duke, my Duke. I said Logan, you start talking about spooning, dude. Nah, my man, if there's three of you in a bed, it's yeah. six in the morning, somebody's spooning somebody, and no I want to know who was spooning who. I'll tell you, I was spooning the edge of who's the bed, brother. Who's spooning who? That's, I was doing a, a, a riff doing? on like an old Tina Turner song. Who's, who's zooming who? who? Who's spooning who? who? Okay, go ahead, man. Anyway, so we're all in the bed, and and uh, I'm at the edge of the bed, and then Logan wakes me up. He's like, yo, dude, sorry, I got to go back to my spot. He, he's in New York right now shooting a film, so he has his own don't apartment. Name drop here. I'm not, don't I'm not name dropping. No, I'm just saying. Name, don't come on my podcast. I'm not name dropping, but, name has, drop shit, but Logan, Logan has his own spot. Okay, so okay, therefore, okay, he did not okay, need to okay, be okay, in no my doubt. room. No right? doubt. No so doubt. he's like, yo, I hate to do this to you, but I'm going back to my spot. And I'm like, if you fucking get out of this bed and leave me with homegirl... I'm going to get really fucking pissed off, dude. I'm not like, it's not like that. It and just kinda, it and he was like, sorry, bro. So he left and it's me and homegirl now. It just, it's down to two. You know, it's like, what the fuck happened? So now maybe you and her could freak off. Maybe she wanted you. I don't know, dude, but that's not where my mind was at. And I'm literally, if you picture me, I'm at the edge, edge of the fucking. But bed. are you coming off? Are you coming down off those gray skies at this point? Because you, you, you cause are you coming off? Are you, like, are you, yeah. are you on a crack? Like, no, there was, that's, that's why I don't think I smoke crack because I would have been up, 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 up. I wouldn't have been able to fall asleep. It, it, you come down at some point. You're t- you wouldn't be, you made it to seven in the morning that's without falling true. asleep. Those gray skies. Stop putting that in my mind that I that I was on that crack game. I'm not about that. I don't know what you were on, but you were on something because because you were either on those gray skies, you were wet, or you smoked that Sam Jackson. I was on that dust. You you were you were either on on that training day or some of that shit. And it was reluctantly. I'm not saying you're a dust head and you're on that Sid Vicious. I'm just saying that you were definitely, you know, you were definitely on that Len Bias. Let me tell you something. something. The last thing happened. Last time I fact checked. I got fucking suspended, so Don't I ain't even trying to man. figure out what I Don't was on. Don't do it because two times suspension is unprecedented on the Iron Rap. Yeah, there ain't no three strike I don't know. rule. Yeah, I don't know. I All don't right. know. I mean, maybe for you, I could run something up the flagpole, but I'd rather you just make it through this episode without any incident. But going back to that suspension, like, why didn't you just tell me up front? Like, yo, dog, you fact check. I got to pull the plug on you, homeboy. Uh, why? You should know that. Well, everyone else knew Bruh, it. But like, the, the rapper pack knew it without, they just knew it all. Well, I'm the, let's say I'm the head of a company and some dude's like, what the fuck, dude? I'm hearing that nah, I got fired. Nobody's like, coming on the Iron Rapport Stereo podcast. None of the big guests are coming on here with a motherfucking Wikipedia page or an encyclopedia all Britannica. Right, that, bro. You know, taped to their leg. All right. They come in here raw dog without a bag. That's fine. They know what it is. That's fine. So they I know what it, it is. And I knew what it was. And I knew it wasn't that crack. I knew I wasn't on that Wu Tang. I okay. knew I wasn't okay. on that okay. Sam okay. Jackson. So how did it end with um uh, uh I'll tell you how it ended. I was on the edge of the bed, you know, and you know what it's like when you're just so fucked up from having, you know, a good night. That next morning is brutal. You don't uh-huh. want to see anybody. I want to just be in the bathroom. And you know, for like, four I hours. need you the next morning to work. I'm in that exactly. Ass. No, Bruno. Uh, uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to like, yo. You need to get the get fuck up, up. Get your get mind ready, right. Get get that some, Starbucks. Get your fucking. We gotta get it popping. I know, and I because it wasn't. That. You weren't brought to New York for fun. Uh, for all funny pleasure. games. Nah, I was working. You were. I was working. a part of the film. If and you, you were look working. At the film, and and the night before, yeah, you're smoking dust. I may or may not have okay, smoked okay, dust. Okay, okay, okay. So how did you get rid of uh? Sapphire. Okay, so I'm I'm laying in the bed with Sapphire, and, and I'm at the edge of, like I said, I'm at the edge, as if I'm about to fall off that And mountain. what is she giving you the vibe? Like, no she vibes, wants you to, no vibes, bro, no. She, or, I didn't let her give me that vibe. I turned over, I had my back. It was like, you know, you picture a couple fighting uh, at the end of a my, night. You know, okay, it's like, okay, we okay. were backs turned. Right. Maybe she wasn't, but my back was like, girl, I'm, you're never going to see this face. Mm-hmm. That's how far away from mm-hmm, you I mm-hmm, am. Mm-hmm. So I'm on that shit. I wake up. I'm in a haze. The dust has worn off. The hangover's starting to kick in. I haven't eaten anything. I'm feeling shit. I look up at the clock. It says it's 12 p.m. I think, oh, fuck yeah. I got my sleep in. We're all good. I turn over just to make sure homegirl's gone. Sapphire's still in the fucking bed. It's 12 in the afternoon. What are you doing with your day? Is she sleeping? She's knocked out. Damn. Knocked out, but under the covers. Like, oh. I, I thought, like, oh, maybe... She made herself comfortable. She made herself so cozy. Like, I'm not going any fucking where. Nowhere. Like, she was there. 
And I think she was from like the Bronx, somewhere far. So she wasn't going home anytime soon. But I looked over and I was like, I literally was like, fuck. So how did you get homegirl out of the room? Um, I was just like, shit, I don't feel good. And I got a, I got shit to do. And, and what'd she like say? 1 p.m. is like, well, that's fun. I'll text You're you so later. lucky I didn't come up in that room because, yo. It, it, it been, was a photo of me. And this is girl, there a photo of you and home? There girl? is not. There is a photo, not of that morning. But if there was a photo, <clears throat> it would look like the scene from Road Trip with the big black chick that's fucking DJ Qualls, the nerdy dude. Yes, in it, you you know what that comparison? Right, looks right, like? right. That was me and my girl. And you didn't hit it and quit it. No. So, you, so you're saying after all this, no, you didn't get nothing, any ass. Nothing. None. You just none. Argentinian girls, I, one of them hit me up on Twitter. Fuck all that Twitter I know, and I'm shit. I'm like, hey, you want to fucking tweet me? Yeah, no. Nah. Oh, yeah, why don't you tweet me? You could have fucking slept over and we could have, you know, Something played a little grab ass with there. each other, yeah, whatever. She didn't even want to play a little grab Nothing. ass? I didn't even want to. Come on, man. Ever. Come on, So, man. you know, look, the experience was fun. You're talking kitty game shit, I know, but man. like you said, I wasn't out there for pleasure. It was for business, yeah, so but then, it man, was a you're fun You're talking night. about, like, you, you had... You had Argentinian girls in the room and you talking about playing grab ass? When did you go to bed? Grab ass? Yeah, man. I go to sleep it... at 8, 9, 10, 11 o'clock. Like, I was in New York party and I was asleep at 11. That's like, you know my style. I know. I go to sleep. I don't fuck around. The the the, the one night I was up late, I don't, I don't play around. I like, was I was with and I need and, my, my sleep, yo. And I that need was, my, my, my mental and physical rest. Like, my my brain needs to shut down. Yeah, you got your like, fucking I'm, beauty I'm, sleep. I'm like, we get I'm in a, like, my mind is in a constant torture chamber during the day. That sounds fucking terrible. It's fucked up. Like, that's my life. That sounds miserable. To I live am in that a life. torture chamber of myself 24 7. Are you battling with yourself or with other people? Battling like, with myself. But the, the, no, it's not I'm battling with myself, but in my mind, I'm battling the world, but it's all in my, in your, it's right. in my imagination and in, to, to myself. I get that. If somehow I could somehow record the thoughts that go through my head, not my voice. I thought about, like, can you imagine if they could record dreams, like visualize it in front of you, like your dream? That'd be dope. Record thoughts, but look, New York was fun. Mm -hmm. I had a great time out there. It feels good coming back to the podcast. Mm -hmm. I feel a little bit more welcome, not so much like the new kid on the block anymore. Mm -hmm. And I got to tell you. You're trying to say, like, you, what? No. You, you say, like, fuck Moody? What the did I fucking say I that? I don't know. I felt like I was reading between the lines. Like, no, you I weren't reading like you shit, were like, bro. Yo, you were like, yo, Moody could suck that. No, suck I didn't. Dick. I think you are saying that about Moody. No, I'm not saying about G. Moody, the, the, the 2015 co-host of the year. Co yeah, you're but you're saying that about your co-host? Because he's going to be out here this weekend. But why are you saying that about your co-host? I'm just saying if you want to... Like say if you're that, trying to start shit. No, I'm not saying it. I'm just, anyway, let, let's take. All right, focus. so wait. I just right. want to say one okay. thing that okay. brightens up my day. Okay. About the rapper pack. Yes. Um. It and like, there's no bullshit. I'm not right. like playing any right, characters right, right. No with doubt, you right no now. Doubt, but no I just want to say no like, no when I get the tweets yes. of me in art form and yes. like. I gotta tell you, man, that makes my fucking, not only my day, my week. Yes. And I know I'm not on the shirts, and I know I'm not, like, no, so not, involved. Man, I know, no, I know, I know. Shirt, That's dude. fine. That's fine. That's dude, cool. Okay. You're not getting on a shirt. I didn't have, I'm just, I, I want to get on the shirt. I'm just letting you know you're not getting on the shirt. I don't want to. I would like to get on the shirt, but if I don't, if I if I'm not welcomed on the shirt, I want to be mean, on. It. Maybe like you got to do something unprecedented. That's fine but to get I, on a shirt right I, now. Like you're just, just be humble and be happy. Like that you're I said, here, my man. I'm humbled that people are making me into art form. Okay, like that excites me. No so, doubt. You know, no doubt. Bring that on. I'll retweet. I, I love all of it. All right, cool, um, man. But I had a good time with you. I think I think we're, you know, no, we're, we're, good. To, we're good. We're good. We're good. Right? We're good. We're good. You There's know, I just no want to let blood. you know, like, you know, because you know that May 11th. At 8 p.m. at the Hollywood Improv. Oh, dope! With, with, with the Dirty Sports crossover with the with the with the cats from the Dirty Sports. It's the I Am Rapport Stereo Podcast slash Dirty Sports crossover. Ticket link available in the episode description. But it's at the Hollywood Improv. The Young Shooter's going to be there. G Monetti's going to be there, and, and the Dirty Sports people are going to be there. Can so, I just say one thing before we oh, head out? Oh, I'm yeah. sorry about that, Michael. Okay. But yeah, we I can just always wanna, cut it out. Yeah, we won't. Don't, but don't, yeah. okay. But okay. I just want to say. Have you ever considered hosting a barbecue at your house for the Rapper Pack? For I want to do that. We're, we're, we're hosting a party for the Rapper Pack as soon as Moody's crib, you know, because his shit got burnt the I fuck heard. down. Um, and they're just, just, just getting all the insurance. It's a whole thing. I think like insurance is a fucking nightmare. But it's is that, but is that an excuse night. for you not to have the Rapper Pack actually see you in person? I know you have a great I relationship. I try to fuck with the... Are, what are you, are you I trying wanted, to have you met? Up? Have you met anybody in yes. the Rapper Pack face-to-face? -face? Yes, I've met, I've met a few people okay. from the Rapper Pack. 
Are they the same? Is it the same presence online as it is in person? No, nah, they're more low key. Just like I'm more low key in real life. But right. but, but but when the rapid pack forms together, it's unstoppable. Whew. But that's why I wanted to suggest Whew. maybe a barbecue or some kind of meat at and your greet. crib. I didn't say my crib, but, but they, we can hopefully whoever's in the California area come out to the improv. Uh, 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 and, and we'll, May we're going to be there on the 11th and it's going to be uh, did I say May 11th? yeah you said May 11th at the Hollywood Improv yeah at, okay at eight, that's think. what I said but but you know we're, we're going to be doing that shit live and direct All anyway right. yo this is the Iron Rap Poor Stereo Pockets let me hear a little funk Miles let me let me, let me hear something funky uh, uh, right now and uh, uh, we're out <laughs> <laughs>